blazing fast internet soon to be a reality, with more households in Singapore possibly getting access to faster internet speeds of up to 10 times from as early as next year. Now that says Singapore invests up to 100 million Singapore dollars to upgrade the nation's broadband network. This comes nearly two decades after the fibre broadband was first rolled out in the country. Geraldine Yap has more. Minutes ago, minutes ago. Singapore already has one of the fastest home broadband internet speeds globally, but the government wants to do more. Funding support of up to $100 million will go towards upgrades for back-end network equipment, as well as helping service providers change out front-end user equipment like modems and routers. The fibre network will remain, as it's already able to support these faster speeds. The National Broadband Network Fibre was deployed in 2006 and while back then the use cases were not yet clear, the investments later bore fruit, especially during the pandemic when Singaporeans were able to work and study from home with the higher internet speeds. Today, over 85% of households have access to 1 gigabit per second or higher speed services. Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo says these upgrades will ensure Singapore's digital infrastructure is ready for future trends and use cases. Even if we do not know the specific use cases that you and I will be interested to, to take up, um, it's quite clear that uh, the future will involve more immersive digital experiences. Uh, it will involve some, you know, uh, additional smart devices, autonomous devices even. And certainly we all already can recognise that um, the impact of AI will be quite pervasive and there will be many ways in which it is being deployed and you want to be able to benefit from them. Currently, some service providers already offer 10 gigabit per second broadband network plans to households, though authorities say these offerings are still quite nascent. They cost between $60 and $86 monthly, almost double the price of the more common 1 gigabit per second broadband plan. We are expecting that um, with this support that is being provided by the government, an investment to future-proof our digital infrastructure, uh, we look at the number of households that could potentially benefit from 10G services. And we are thinking that uh, probably in around five years, it's, it's possible that more than half a million households you know, will find this service to be useful, attractive and you know, competitively priced. The upgrade is expected to be completed in 2026.